Hi guys. And Will. <laughs> Hi guys, Morning Brand here. Again, you can tell by the wet hair and the wonderful coffee that I have here. Uh, but we're going to be talking about the thing that you've probably been seeing going around DBD Twitter and DBD YouTube for a little bit here now. Uh, it's one of those things where I keep opening up my Twitter or YouTube every single day, and there's always somebody saying something about this. So I guess I will say something about it because I can't escape people talking about this. And that, of course, being the old Sable Ward and the recent controversy with that. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about it. So if you do not know, if you're not queued in here, uh, DBD is doing a contest to get uh, new skins into the game that are made by the community, which are always super cool, super neat. We've gotten some of the best skins in the game, like the butterfly moth uh, plague thing. That skin is one of my favorite skins in the game, despite the fact that I don't really play that character. Uh, they never stopped slashing legion although they didn't do the animations on the face like there's just a lot of really cool skins that have come to the game as a direct result of this community contest and uh in the community contest this year is a sable ward costume and it was kind of like a controversy in the dbd community because the dbd will make a uh, community will make anything into a controversy literally anything can become a controversy because we just have to whine and complain about literally everything um but that aside, um, everybody is kind of like up in arms and upset and worried because obviously Sable Ward is a very, very popular character. So ergo, she is probably going to win, <laughs> probably get her skin into the game uh, just based on popularity alone. And that has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because there's a lot of characters in the game like Hattie that do not have a lot of skins or representation. Believe me. I mean, Jeffrey Johansson, who did not have a lot of skins till literally last year, and even then he still doesn't have a lot compared to most people. I, uh, my other main, Ellen Ripley, literally has like, what, like three skins? <laughs> and besides the, 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 the Christmas sweater, they're all sets, so I can't mix and match and have fun with that. So, yeah, believe me, I get it when I play a character, especially on the survivor side, that does not have a lot of skins and customizability. Infamously, I used to main Cheryl Mason, and I don't anymore because the main reason I enjoyed playing Cheryl Mason was because A, I love Silent Hill a lot, but B, um, I, you know, used to mix sets and all that. That's how I kind of like got my first traction on YouTube was doing the, the, the set mix tutorials. But, you know, I all of our sets are linked, so I just kind of got bored <laughs> wearing essentially the same costume all the time. Um, so I stopped playing her and uh, ended up playing other characters. But for some reason, this in particular has gotten the DBD community very massively up in arms. Like everybody's finding out about it on Twitter every day. Even Scott Jund, who really usually doesn't care about this stuff, made a video about it, which I thought was really funny. Um, where, I don't know, people are just getting way too up in arms about it. And it's just not new. And I also don't like Sable Ward. Let's get that clear. I'm not a big Sable Ward enjoyer. And we'll also get into that as well. <laughs> like I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest Sable Ward enjoyer out there. But this also isn't new, and I think people are overreacting. This is just a cycle that happens in the DBD space. It just is. Like, Sable Ward is just the new kid on the block, right? We had Nia. We had Fung. We had Michaela, who's very closely related to this character. And now Sable. There's just kind of like interesting gamer girl of the year <laughs> uh, interest when it comes to behavior in developing costume skins, etc. for Dead by Daylight. They just, you know, time after time again, create a very, very likable, slightly edgy, but also cute uh, character that gets a lot of attention from the community. So then they just start mass pumping out skins for them and leaving most of the characters that are being released throughout the year on the back burner. And this of course creates a, a reverse hullabaloo on the community side where people that main all these un underrepresented characters uh, get really upset because they're wondering where their skins are. They're wondering where their stuff is. Um, <laughs> but you know, Michaela's getting her 19th skin and you're just wondering what the heck went wrong. Like why, like do I matter? And it's kind of like this, <sighs> It's a it's a darned if you do, darned if you don't. Because like, if behavior makes skins for lesser played characters, they may be played more often, but they're not going to make as much profit. But also, if they continue to make skins for the characters that are already popular, they're going to continue to make profit. But then they don't make profit on the characters that people don't play as much, and the pe the reason people aren't playing them is because they don't have a lot of skins. It's just kind of like like the Ouroboros, like the snake eating its own tail. Like it's it's a problem that no matter which way you go, it seems like you have an issue here. Um, realistically, you would just do both, but like there's limited time resources and etc. that goes into that. Um, and either way, like it, the, the DVD community gets upset about it either way. Either if, if Fung gets her like 300th skin, people are up in arms about it. If my guy Jeff gets a skin, people are like, who plays Jeff? Why did we waste time on that? Like you kind of just can't make everybody happy. You can't please everybody in that regard. But like I said, I'm not a big Sable enjoyer. Uh, Sable is kind of like 
<laughs> for lack of a better term, really cringe. <laughs> she's just really cringy. She's like a caricature of what goth, like what people who aren't goth think goth people are. Um, I've been in kind of like the, the like edgy kind of, um, like rock metal scene for a very, very long time, ever since I was a young and um, so I have met and known and uh, adored a lot of goth people in my time on this planet and they are not like that. <laughs> so like Sable just in her lore, if you actually get into her lore, she's like, I love the darkness. I love everything macabre and I love investigating the dark. Like she's just really over the top. She's like, like Wednesday Adams, except written awfully. <laughs> like she is, she is like the kid that like, she's not like an endearing edgy. She's like, uh, like middle school cringe edgy, which is not great. If you're unaware, she went into the, 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 the fog just cause she thought it was cool. <laughs> like she is just like, I can't, I don't know how to describe it. Like she is just the character of what a person that is not goth has not interacted with the goth scene thinks a goth person is and it's just it's really funny to see um she's just very poorly written and it's very like clear and on like on the surface easy to tell that she's just kind of like written for mass marketing and not necessarily like with thought to make her story relevant or interesting um i think that uh pixel bush has a, a a very good tweet about this that kind of like feels relatively the same to me i do not dislike sable because she gets a lot of skins i just like sable because she's written like a bad fanfic agreed and was short or shrewd blah, blah, blah. can't say that word apparently and was shoehorned into julian's spot in michaela's backstory for seemingly no other reason than marking her related to an already popular survivor equals more sales yep Yep, because Michaela was the it girl before Sable came out. So if we just make them like best friends or possibly more, then yeah, well, people are going to be into that a uh, big time. So, you know, Michaela's still getting skins. She just got the Castlevania skin uh, just this time around. And so now Sable and Michaela are kind of like the powerhouse of new DVD skins. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's just I agree. There's another post that pixel mix under here that i also agree with that i, I actually almost said verbatim uh sable is the best example of dbd's history of prioritizing mass market appeal over actually making a high quality story and character she's fun when you treat her as a joke or as a parody but she just doesn't hold up as a serious character yeah like a character like there could be some cool lore there that they could potentially do because like sable for all intents and purposes is like kind of like i wouldn't say not a real goth because that gets into like a lot of weird gatekeeping that the goth community already deals with but she's very much like i like the darkness i'm so cool and like you know if she got and entered into the entity's realm um and just like whoa wait this is actually really horrifying and ter and scary this is different than like reading creepy pastas on my stupid little podcast like this is this is actually the real deal oh my gosh I need to stop behaving so immaturely and take this stuff seriously. That could be a very, very cool character arc, but as we have seen, they are just sticking to the bit, you know? So there are like valid reasons to be like, mm, Sable Ward's not my favorite character, but um, I don't think hating her because she is taking a spot in the uh, community contest. I don't think hating her because she's a popular character makes sense. If you're going to dislike a character, hate them for, uh, you know, reasonable reasons like, oh, their lore's not the greatest or their character design's kind of off or their skins are kind of bad. Don't hate them for something as silly as just they are popular and a lot of people like them because that's just yucking other people's yum. You're allowed to like what you want and enjoy what you want. Um, that's I, I mean, I run a channel almost basically entirely only around subjectivity. I just I, it's like my own little personal diary that I just, you know, talk about things that are interesting or neat that I appreciate that I think are cool or things that I don't like that I just kind of want to cry and complain about that. This is what this is for. So like, oh, yeah, other people's yum, but also don't like stiff arm people into enjoying something that they do not want to enjoy. I'm just saying I'm just saying I, I think it's a silly reason to hate them because they're popular or because they're going to take a spot in a community contest. I think in general, once again, talking about the many ways this is not new, literally at all, is like every single time we do one of these community contests, people are just in the DVD community just really mean about it. Like if you guys remember the Yoonjin outfit, the no spin kind of like jogger outfit that she got, um, the art was not really like, like usually like in all these contests, you have like, like seasoned artists who have made a lot of pieces, make these really elaborate, um, 
art pieces with a ton of shading and it looks super professional, it looks like something behavior make themselves. But the community contest isn't about that. It's not about the quality level of art. It's like, should this skin be in the game? Because it's cool and it's a cool concept that we couldn't have come up with ourselves, but this cool fan came up with this cool concept that I think would be a good skin. So this artist made a, a an art piece showing off the, the what is now our like jogging no spin outfit for Yunjin. Um, and it wasn't like one of those big, super elaborate, super over the top art pieces, but it, it conveyed the idea perfectly. So it was like, hey, that, that's great. We want that. But like people were criticizing the quality of the art and just like, that's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point. And honestly, it wasn't bad at all. It was just like, it just wasn't like the what you're used to seeing. It's not bad. It's just different. But like people freaked out over it. Like I couldn't, if I had a cool skin idea, I can only mildly draw. I can't make something like that, but my ideas are still valid. Um, but like, once again, not only is it, <laughs> not only is it like, my point being is not only is it, um, like we've done this before in the sense that there have been other it girls that have been hated on by the community, but also we have had other instances of the community, uh, contest also being toxic and people being mean about that so this is also not new either so if there's a point to this uh tldr uh it's this is all a nothing burger this is nothing you need to worry about people are just kind of like complaining about nothing i, I guess we're just bored until the mid chapter comes out so we just have to fight about something right now i guess uh the dbd the dbd community does happen to get pretty bored in between chapter releases so we just like fight over stupid stuff it's nothing to really you know worry about or get super invested in so if, it, if you're curious about what's happening with that, well, there's my take. But hey, like I said, most of this channel is just subjectivity, so take it or leave it, I guess. But I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.